Welcome back. A local company continues to lead the way in its industry. Schneider Trucking announced last week it has achieved 1 million zero emission miles with those. Its fleet of e-trucks in California, the electric haulers, the e-cascadias, began operations just this June thanks to a grant from the state of California which has incentivized clean energy. Schneider becoming the first company in North America to haul freight over a million miles with Freightliner fully electric vehicles and joining us now to talk about this achievement is Schneider President and CEO Mark Rourke. So we spoke Mark almost exactly a year ago it was December 14th when you had placed the orders for these 92 trucks. Did you expect this kind of success this quickly? Well Chris it was the hardest part about all this was getting the coordination of the charging infrastructure in place which actually the trucks are the easiest part it's the, it's the infrastructure and charging requirements that uh, was the, the most challenging. But yeah, once we got all of that done, which we had a ribbon cutting ceremony out there in June, uh, we really started to, to uh, take advantage and, and we're on a, a ramp schedule really that whole back half of the year. And, and so now we're just hitting our stride with virtually all of those close to 100 trucks deployed presently. So we'll really start to rack up emission free miles going forward. All right, I want to talk about that infrastructure because it was a big part of our conversation back in December. But real quick, this this achievement, uh, you guys celebrated this this past week with this. You're ringing the bell at the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, where does that rank in on your resume? Well, it's uh, obviously it's a very unique and cool experience. And we had uh, Marty Boots, who is uh, one of our drivers out in California, actually do the ringing of the bell. And uh, he was instrumental in helping us uh, learn how to operationalize and train. And so it was just a real neat experience to have him with us there. And, and uh, closing the bell uh, just this past week was, was quite the treat. All right, let's get back to infrastructure, because when we talked, that was one of the big things here. Some of these massive chargers that you can, you can charge trucks, 30, 32 trucks at a time, I believe you told me back then, those could charge yeah. up to 5,000 homes. I mean, this is a big undertaking how far has that come and how fast has it increased what you're able to do out in california yeah the, the planning and getting all of that ready was about a three-year effort and uh so we uh, got fully operational in june and uh it's gone exceedingly well you got to go through some learning particularly around the software and how it communicates with the truck we had to go through some learning curves there but Chris, I tell you right now, it's it's operating uh, nearly flawlessly every day. And the big change, or the big, uh, which really had to get accomplished there was coordinating with the utility company to get that level of power mm -hmm. to the site. But once you uh, get that all done, uh, you can really operationalize successfully. Word you used there was flawlessly. I'm curious, when we spoke, California has kind of been at the forefront of this, certainly with fully electric vehicles, but other states are taking notice. They're also looking at possible other alternatives to clean energy. How closely is this being watched though by other states and is anybody else close to being able to achieve or at least begin what California has already started? Well, there's a real specific use case for battery electric because of the range. We're getting to 220 to 240 miles in between uh, chargings. And so certain applications fit. That's why Southern California and it's mm -hmm. very high density of people and locations work really well there. Uh, there's other applications across the country, but Southern California is especially attractive. But I could see things uh, in Texas, I could see things in Georgia, I could see things in some other Southern states, uh, particularly because that's uh, it is a little temperature sensitive <laughs> on current generation. So I wouldn't see them here in uh, River City anytime soon, Chris. <laughs> You mentioned Texas there. Southern California has two of the largest ports in the country in terms of goods coming in. So obviously the need for shipping there is great. Texas also with Houston, one of the busiest ports. Texas has looked at, so has California, hydrogen. And that is another thing for long haul carriers that might be coming in the future. You had mentioned that back in December, Texas and California already starting to invest in this. What does the future look like? How far down the road, pardon the pun, do you think this is? Well, hydrogen is one of what we think is one of the most attractive elements to get to longer length of haul op operations, so more traditional trucking. Uh, but it's even more challenged on infrastructure than battery sure. electric. Um, and we're in the really early stages. We're testing one unit out in California presently. Uh, probably not as reliable as it needs to be at this juncture yet, so it's still very much in the formative stages. But I think long term, we figure uh, infrastructure out and how to get 
hydrogen fueling in more places, it could be uh, more popular long term than even battery electric. All right, peer into your crystal ball, Mark. Uh, these things, you already mentioned why battery electric works so well in California. Hydrogen, maybe it's down the line. What would be the first clean energy vehicle you could see hauling freight in the Midwest? Oh, that, clearly that would be hydrogen. It's not nearly as sensitive to uh, terrain, temperature, um, and it, again, it has very long, almost diesel-like range. And okay. so that, to me, that breakthrough is what really would be attractive for the Midwestern states, including here in Wisconsin. Terrific. Mark, thanks so much. Congratulations on the achievement. And uh, just like I said to you last year around this time, happy holidays. Thank you. You as well.